Welcome back. Next, we're going to select a template that we want to use for our web application. So here's where we are. It still looks like this. Doesn't look great, but uh, we're getting somewhere. So let's go back to the bootstrap web, get bootstrap. So type in getbootstrap.com, click on examples. What you'll see next is a lot of examples down there. I'm gonna make my screen bigger so you can see uh, what it is. And uh, hopefully you are on your screen also. So let me just make this bigger. There we go. Okay, so you can select any of these. Uh, depending on what you select, it may be quick or, or slow to implement. So uh, for the purpose of time, in the interest of time, we're just gonna select the uh, the starter template. So click on starter. You're welcome to, to, to click on any one that you want. I'm gonna just go for the starter template. Okay, then I'm going to right click, view page source. I'm just gonna grab everything that's in here. Okay. So you just copy all of this. And we're gonna put this in the home page. All right. So remember the home page is in the pages folder, in the view pages folder. And I'll show it to you right here. So app, views, pages, and home. That's where it is. Now just open it up. I'm gonna change what's in there. Replace it with what we just copied. Okay. Now let's go back to our site and see how it looks now. So we're gonna close this because we don't need it anymore. Let's go back to our site here. Then let's refresh it. Give it a few seconds, it's just uh, uh, loading. And then there we go. You see we have, uh, that's our, our website. It uh, We've implemented Bootstrap. And then next we're gonna work on it a little more. We, we are going to add some partials and uh, continue building the, the blog. Uh, and then remember we are using this as our guide and I had said that I'm going to be taking little different turns. I'm not going to be following this exactly as, 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 it, uh, as it is prescribed, but uh, you're welcome to follow this exact, exactly as it goes because uh, that's the best thing to do, especially when you're new. You just want to follow the, the conventions and go go through the, the, uh, the, the process. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is create a shared folder and the shared folder is going to be created in the views so we're going to use a sh create a sh shared folder and the way we create it is type in mkdir which means make directory and then we'll tell it where in application view and then it's going to be called shared hit return now that it's been returned if you're not sure if it was created or not you can just type in ls up views and then you will see it listed there, shared. You see it's the last one. Next, we're going to create uh, two partials. The first one is the header. So we will create, and the, the purpose of creating partials is so that we can break our code up in manageable pieces that are, that are easy to read and manage, okay? So in your terminal, just type in touch, up, views, shared, and then we have put an underscore then we type in header.html.erb, okay? Remember I say two, that was the first one, header. The next one is the footer. Then we type in footer, footer.html.erb, okay? There we go, so we have those two. I'm gonna split up my sp screen here so we can uh, work on this. You can see what's going on. That, so let's let me open. I'm gonna open up the. I am going to open up. Okay, let me close that. So so let's open up the the header. And then e, remember where it was, right? If you're using Vim, this is how you'd get to it. Uh, 
but if you're not just follow the path up views shared uh, header I just typed in footer so okay there it is header hit return it's gonna be empty at first okay so watch very carefully from line one I'm going to highlight what I'm going to re be removing so I'm gonna remove all of these the following because we don't need it so we need we don't need all of this so I'm gonna remove it and then again from where it says uh, the nav class that's gonna be the header so I'm gonna highlight all of this all the way until the nav bar closes so there it is it, it is closed okay then I'm going to paste it in the header next we want the footer so we'll scroll down before we get there let's remove this Okay, so that's gone and this is now this is all we have in the home page now okay that's all we have in the home page next we're going to open up the layouts file so up layouts up views layouts and the application layout file okay so that's where it is a uh, quick way to get to this if you're using Vim is just you hit e, type in E is for edit, views, and then you just say layout application. It's a quick way to do it. I'm showing you all the, that long way because I wanted you to, in case you're not using Vim, you could see it. So the next thing is what we want to do here is to bring in our partials. This is the layout file. This is how our, this is what Rails uses to make our, the whole web application have a uni, uniform look and feel. Okay. So if we go to our website right now, we are going to see that it looks different from what the last time we saw it. Okay, it just has the home page. So now we are going to put in the, the nav bar and then uh, we're going to find a footer to put at the bottom there. But for right for now, we're just going to put in the nav bar. Okay, and we'll work on the footer later. In a, well, I think, Yes, in the interest of time, I don't want I don't want this to go too long. So let's just get to the header first. Back to our terminal. Okay. So let's change that yield to the following. We're going to type in render, and then remember it's in the shed, and then we want to call it just the header and then down here it's going to be the footer I'm just going to change okay so that's going to be the footer so let me just make that look better all right so when we go back to our website and we hit uh, we hit refresh so there is our we now have our navbar back. Now let's go back to Bootstrap and let's look for the. Actually, I'm gonna skip this part. I'm gonna skip this the part of the footer because my I don't want my video to be too long. But uh, you can go to the sticker footer here. Same thing. If you go to views, this is uh, just one way to do it. So you just all we need is this the sticky footer. Let's copy that and, and uh, paste it into the footer partial. All right. And then we should be good to go from there. So th that's it for this screencast. We will co carry on with uh, adding the blog engine into our application in the next screencast. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.